Hi, so I'm going to talk about how you can search for print books and ebooks in the library catalog. So right here you see you have the option you can search everything that's going to pull up articles and videos. If you just want to limit your search to books you select that right here. Um, if you want to limit your search even further to ebooks, uh, you have that option here as well. If you want to keep your search open um, to pull up both print books and ebooks, um, you can just leave that search open. Um, so, what you'll do here, you could search by title, you could search by topic, uh, you could type in a keyword. Uh, so, that's how I'm going to search. I'm going to search for the subject that I'm researching, which is poverty. So, I'm typing in my keyword, I hit search and wait for a moment and here are the results. Okay, so now over here you'll notice on the left hand side I have ways of limiting uh, my results. If I want to just restrict it to print book I can do that. I can restrict it to uh, books that were published more recently if I want to do that as well. So if I just want to see what print books we have in the library about poverty I'm going to select that option and it's pulling up some print books. Now you'll notice that some print books are also ebooks, so you have multiple options with them. Um, but if it's a book like this that's just available in the print collection, let's see what it's all about. Okay, so if I want to learn more about the book, I can select View Description. It's going to give me a list of the contents. There's going to be uh, book chapters. Um, so I really encourage you uh, to look for more information here under contents, under description, um, or the summary here, because um, it can help you determine if a book is going to be relevant or not to your research. Um, and a lot of students, they might say, oh, well, you know, I don't have time to, to read a book. Well, you can just identify a chapter that's particularly relevant to your research. And books tend to be written to a general audience, um, so they can be very beneficial in that way. So um, if I want to find this book on the shelf, um, right here, it's telling me the call number for the book, which is like the book's address in the library. Um, and this is particularly helpful because it's going to help me find that book on the shelf. But also, if I look on the shelf in the HCs, um, there may be other books right next to it that are similar or about this topic as well. So it's a good way uh, to open up your research, to find more sources, to, to see what we have on the shelves. But let's say you're home, um, you, uh, the library might be closed, and you need information. So I'm going to show you real quick how to limit your search here to ebooks. So let's just say we want just ebooks, and those can be accessed anywhere. Um, and so here are some ebooks about poverty, and this one looks pretty interesting to me. Um, and again, I can view the description, I can see the summary, I can see the contents. Um, if I go here to view ebook, it'll take me directly to that specific ebook. And if I want to read the book, I could just go to PDF full text. But I want to point out over here on the right that there's these tools that you could use. I want you to be familiar with these tools because you can use them um, to keep track of your research. Um, so one of the tools that students love the most is the citation tool. And it's giving you a citation for this specific book in MLA format. So this is a great way to track your research. Um, we also have other ways. You can email a resource to yourself um, or the permalink. The per that's a permanent link to an item. Um, so you could keep a running log of permalinks. I would suggest copying this instead of uh, this up at the top, you want this permalink so that you can always access this. Um, if I just want to read the book and see what's in there, I can click here on PDF full text. And here's the book. Um, I can go to contents and it may tell me 
specific pages. I could type in a page that looks interesting, or I can go over here on the left, and it's broken down the chapters. So if, say, chapter 7 is particularly interesting to me, I can go directly to that chapter and read that chapter. So that's been the introduction to print books and ebooks. I highly encourage you uh, to test it out, try it out, see what you can find. And if you have any questions, as always, reach out to a librarian. Thank you.